book of Tov, today's daf is that Samach in Kedushin, as we learned, <coughs> for as a chus, for Achenu, Kol Beis Yisrael, Kulom, and Nusunam, Batzara, Veshivya, and may the Lord save us from our enemies, and especially from our friends. Ula Amr Rabbi Yochran, with about the eighth line on the page in Daf Samach. Yesterday we discussed the issue when a man says, Haremu <coughs> Kedesh you're married to me from now, after 30 days. So <clears throat> what's the deal there? The question is, is it from now? Is he changing his mind and saying, yes, it'll be retroactive from now, or it'll be active in 30 days? So we're not sure. So because of that, we say it's uh, it's a suffix, right? The Gemara said that it's a uh, mission said back on Nun Chesman basis, Mukudesh, Svein Mukudesh. We're not sure. We're not sure if somebody else is married, if, if nobody else comes along and 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 the troths are within the 30 days. Okay, fine. So worse comes worse. He's married after 30, she's married after 30 days. But if somebody else marries her in the at the 15 day mark, then what's the question? So we're not sure she would need a get from both in that in those circumstances. So we said, what happens if somebody says after the first guy says in 30 days from now, from now and in 30 days. Another guy comes along now and in 20 days. Another guy comes along now in 10 days. Another guy says, tomorrow I'm marrying you. Whatever it is, I'm marrying you now. So these are all these can all be questions. Are they married? Who is she married to? So the Gemara at the top of the page said, in those cases where one said after 30 days, like I said, after 20 days, like I said, after 10 days, she only needs to get from the first or the third. In the middle one, not. Because Manoshach, if you say it's Me'achshav, so the first guy is married to her. And if it's really only after 30 days, right, so then she's really only married to the last guy who said after 10 days. So you don't really need to have Why? Because the idea is that we're not sure if when he says is he is he is it a condition after 30 days you'll be it'll be retroactive today, or is he changing his mind saying, No, I'm not from today after 30 days? So if it's after 30 days, she's really only married to the last guy who said 10 days. And if it's uh tonight, then it's really married to the first guy. However, here we have another opinion. Ula Amr Rabbi Yochanan, in the eighth line, Ula Amr Rabbi Yochanan, Everybody who marries her between even 100 guys, one guy says, you know, one guy says after 100 days, a guy says after uh, after 99 days. There is. And all the people in between, they all grab her to some degree. In other words, he says that it's you're, you're, you're partially married to all of them. Now, obviously, she can't sleep with any of them, right? But because uh, it's a suffix, but but it's like there's a, there's somewhat of a kedushin to all of them, and the idea here is is that uh, everything is how you know we don't know. I feel and Tosis points out that Rashi doesn't really talk us say this about this. But the idea is that each person leaves over something else for the other person to grab onto. And the idea of Tosimba is not that Rashi says Tosis says that it's not that it's a suffix that he's not sure which way it goes. Like like uh, the other opinions were, we're not sure. We're not sure. Is it is it uh, a tnai? Is he saying effectively from now, or is he changing his mind saying later on? He's saying no. They all have some degree of ownership in this woman. Uh, that's that's how he explains. He says that uh, the 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 I don't understand you. What kind of opinion is this? Okay, I'll explain to you what Rabbi Yochan is based on the idea. Just to give an example. I'll explain to you what Rabbi Yochan is saying. Shava Nafshe is making himself like a row of bricks. You know, bricklayers from time immemorial know that if you're laying bricks and you're laying, let's say, 10 bricks in a row, right? Make 10 bricks. Then when you start the second row on top, you don't put them exactly one on top because the whole thing will fall over. You do halfway. You do half so that each each brick is laying on two bricks at the end of the day. That's how you do. That's how you lay bricks. And he says the same way. Each one over here left room for the other one to be chal, so to speak. You leave room. In other words, you leave when you put the, the second row on. You you leave room for the next row to go on top half and half. You know you leave room so it's not all you know directly on top. Here also it's an example. You leave room. Uh, each one left room for the other one. So you know if you're on the second row and you don't go directly on top of the brick below you, you go halfway and leave room for another brick to sit there. That's what he's saying. It's just an example. 
But the idea still is, what's Rabbi Yochanan saying? He's saying it's one long process. Masr Rabbi Hanina, the case we had yesterday, Meir Malach Rabbi Nisa, get there again. Now, Rabbi Yochanan and the Mishnah was talking about Kedushin, but we're equivalent, we're, we're making an equivalent with Git. So look at the case of Git, Meir Malach Misa, man says, I'm giving you a get today, and after I die. Now we know ain't get lach misa. So we're not sure. What did he mean? So get vein a get. We're not sure what he means. Does he mean may I yom? It means if he dies, and we're going to see in a case in a minute. If a man says, I'm giving you a get today, uh, if I die. If I die, that's very clear. I'm giving you to today. If I die, here's your get. If I die, it should be chal now. That's for sure a get. But if he says me yomalachmisa, again, we have the problem. Did he mean me yom or did he mean after death? After death, he had, he had can be chal. So in that case, we're not sure if he gets chal not gets not. If we're not sure if he gets chal, and he dies with no children, and there's a brother, meis cholets is for mitzvahs. Give a chalitza. Can't make yibum. Why can't you make yibum? Because maybe it was a good get. If it was a good get, it's grusha sachav. You can't marry him. So that's what the that's what we had that case yesterday. And meis cholets is for love of it. That may have to get there and get there. Rabbi says no. It is a get. Because he man knows that ain't get lachemisa, and he meant to say it's meachshav. Uh, okay, so Bishlam and the Rav Nesayale, Rav who said yesterday that what that it's a get vein a get. That's exactly what he. That's what Rav said. Rav said get vein no get. Same thing with Kudeshus uh, the Shani the Olam. Meaning when he said over there Mekadesh the Shani Mekadesh the Olam that uh, in the case of um, uh, not in case of get, in the case where it's Mekadeshus vein Mekadeshus. Rav says Mekadeshus vein Mekadeshus. Forever, it's a suffix. So Rav says that that's a proof to what I said. I hold like that sheet of the Chum. The Shmuel Nami, even Shmuel, who said no, that is a get. Amani Rabban, it goes like the Rabban who disagree with Rebbe, right? He says that goes like Rebbe, uh, but I hold like Rebbe. I hold like Rebbe. I hold like Rebbe. It says because get Rebbe holds that everybody Rebbe holds that everybody knows that. Uh, ain't get lachemisa. And when he said may I yom lachemisa, he meant to say may achshav. Okay, el Rabbi Yochanan the Mashiurahu. You're leaving over something when one guy's leaving. You're leaving something over. In other words, it's a long process. Have it call get the Mashiur by Velokum. Any get that's left over the elite, that's not complete is is meaningless. Now Rashi says over here the pshat is that the get has to be krisis. Uh, the Rachmana Amar Hashem said krisis has got to be totally cut off. If you're not sure, you're leaving something open. You know, you're giving a get, but it'll be chal later on if he dies. That's meaningless. It's not a get. So you boom and i Why does the why does the Tanakhama say over there? May I yomalach means to get there to get. Meis cholet says if it's not a real get, you have to have even. Why do you have to make chalitza? Tosis points out a little bit more than Rashi. Tosis says that it's not just any of krisis. Session according to Rabbi Yochanan, the badai who says badai b'chay gav ne krisis elochim perish kol gitet the mishayer ba. A get like this can only be completed after he died and ain't get lachemisa. That's how Rabbi Yochanan seems to say. Rabbi Yochanan seems to say that it's a long process. Like say, it's one long process. Well, that can't work. So if you can't work, it's not a get. And if it's not a get, can you make them? So why can't you do that? Amar Rava, so Rava gives a strange answer. Amar Rava, get lahotzi misa lahotzi. I'll tell you, they're both cases you're getting, you know, a woman gets her freedom either by get or by death of her husband. They're both Removing her from her husband. So the gets like the beginning and the and the misa completes it. <laughs> so we can watch somebody buy it. What kind of a spar is that? Just because they're both for removing her from her husband, it's the beginning, that's the end. I mean, dummy. Get Here we're talking about a case of Yibam. The get takes her away from the Yibam, right? If she doesn't get, there's no Yibam. Misa machnes Yabam. But the Mishas Yabam. That Misa brings her into the Mishas Yabam. In other words, Yes, the woman leaves her husband either in the case of get or in the case of yibum. But in the case of get, there is no yibum. In the case of death, there is yibum. So the two things are working at cross purposes. Elm Rabaya. So the question then is, according to Yochanan, if it's not really a get, you can even make yibum. Elm Rabaya. How some time am I? The reason why we say did chalitza, technically you could even make yibum over there. Because according to Yochanan, any time when you leave something over, it's not a get at all. It's a get, it'll be chal to death. But that's Rabbi Yochanan's opinion. Not like we hope, but Rabbi Yochanan says that. If it's a if it's a long process, it's not a get. Um, Rabbi, also time I it's a, the reason why we say so you can make even you make you, the reason you make chalitza is my Macy. This is the point. I raise a get. When a person says, I'm giving you a get from today if I die, that's very clear. 
If I die, it's a get from today. Nehayom in Macy. If I die, it's a get from today. There's no question that he means to say maybe it's after death, right? When he says Nehayom ula acher misa, right? Like we said, what is the Rabban and Shita? Did he mean Nehayom or did he mean after death? After death, you can't give a get. It doesn't work. So we're not sure what he means. So it's a get made a get do chalitza. But if he says Nehayom in Macy, I'm giving you get from today. If I die, that's very clear. If I die, it should be a get from today. I raise again. So it's exam because of that. In a case like that, you can't give Yibam, right? Because that's clear. You don't even need Felisa. So maybe also, Yom and Macy should also be goes there. She give Chalitza, Atame Yom Alachemisa. Since me, Yom Alachemisa, we're saying that you have to give Chalitza. Why? Because technically you could make Yibam, but we're afraid you'll mix it up with Yom and Macy where you don't need, where it's definitely a get. Why don't you say you need a Chalitza there too? The answer is, yeah, don't make chalitza there. Once you say you make chalitza, somebody might make a mistake and make ibam. In other words, it's very clear. Everybody agrees. Me'ayomi Macy means if I die, it should be a get from today. No, you know, why don't you give her chalitza just in case and it mixes up with that? No, if you say give her chalitza, people think yeah, you could do ibam also. So in our case too, where he says, Me'ayom ula chalitza, where you say it's a suffolk and you give chalitza, don't give chalitza because maybe they'll make ibam. It's only a chashash rabbana. And as Rashi says, in the last of the narrow lines in Rashi, Rabbi Yochanan says clearly that according to him is also not a get at all. The answer is that, uh, that there, it's not a problem if you if you would give a yibam. But in the case of me'ayom in Macy, yibam would be a problem because that's definitely a get. And that would be a problem. isha. So at the end of the day, you should be very clear. If you're giving your wife a get, be very clear about it when it takes effect, et cetera, et cetera. Don't make any problems. Pardon? Yeah, right. right. Who, who, who does that? Soldiers. soldiers. Oh, soldiers, soldiers. Yeah, yeah. So they, they, but it would have to be how before, right. before death. That's, that's Mayom and Macy, correct. Mayom and Macy. The get that they gave all the time. The reason they don't do that is, uh, you know, Bismana said, they said that, you know, in, in, in the time of David Melch, a lot of soldiers did that. They don't do it today. First of all, it's a problem with if the soldiers are calling because it's somewhat of a reich again, and then it's a problem if, 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 that maybe he'd have a problem with his wife, even if he returns home, marrying her, because it's somewhat of a get. So it's a problem for Kahanim. And there's also psychological reasons why they don't want to do it, et cetera, but it's really not done. Uh, it's, not, it's not really done. Also, you know, it's different today when, you know, as terrible as the situation that we're living through is right now, eventually everybody will get identified. There's no such thing as, you know, like an unknown soldier today, you know, in the small battlefields that we have. I'm not saying maybe in Afghanistan or someplace, maybe they did have that. But today it's almost unknown, just like we talked about the idea of Iguna. There's no, today there's Misarev get nor Misarevet get. But it's no such thing as a guy went overseas and nobody can find him today with, you know, cell phones and, and and DNA and all kinds of. We don't have uh, right. Yeah, we we don't so have even anymore. Yeah. Right. So the idea that you you need to get to yeah. from yeah 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 to, really no, to protect from even is one thing. The question is for her to get remarried. That's the real issue. For her to get remarried is is a real problem. The the, the famous thing that the uh, Rabbi Yosef uh, uh, at the time the Yom Kippur War was a serious problem. Because then we didn't have the technology we have today with cell phones and 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 uh, you know and, and and triangulating and knowing where everybody is and knowing what happened and they had to free a lot of igunas and Rabbi Yosef really did that he did a tremendous uh, a tremendous uh, you know benefit for for the, for many women uh, but today it's almost uh, in modern war modern stuff it's very uh, it's almost you know it's not as necessary as it is uh, as this. yes he would perfect from yibam but. You know, even it's not really a problem it's today. Not it's not an issue anymore. It's only chalitza. Chalitza could be an issue. There are cases of chalitza. Yeah, I still have to have chalitza. They do have to have to chalitza. Right, you have to chalitza. But the problem is for if, if, if it's non-religious people and they don't want to partake, there could be issues even with chalitza uh, for non religious There's stories about, you know, there's a story here a few years ago about a, a boy uh, recently married, a young boy. He got sick and he died, 25 years old. He was a close of tshuva. And uh, his wife needed chalitza because he had a brother back in America. And the family in America were totally non-religious and wanted no part of any ceremony like this. It, it was a problem, you know, until they resolved uh, it. says the Mishnah, Omer li'isha re'emu kudashas li. Amanashat t'nacham sa'im zuz. That's a nice thing. 
I'll marry you on the condition uh, I have money, you know, uh, I'll be bringing you 200 zoos. How's that? Okay, it's a good question. Well, you think he's got, to, he's got to fulfill the condition. Now, the question of where out of the Gemara is, okay, he's got to fulfill the condition, but when are they married from? When he gives a, you know, first show me the money, then he will get married, or, or when he gives her the money, then they're married retroactively. In other words, it's a condition. You're married from today on the condition that you're going to, you know, that you're going to fulfill the condition. You're going to give me the 200 bucks. So, Obviously, she shouldn't marry anybody else in between or sleep with anybody else because maybe he'll fulfill the condition. But that's the question. Is it conditional? And then once he gives her the money, it's how from today? Or it's only when you get the money later on? So that's going to be discussed in the Gemara. Or he says, I'm going to give it to you within 30 days. So if he gave it to him, if he gave it to him, it's fine. If he didn't give it to him in 30 days, it's not a condition. Okay, what's the Kiddush in that? We'll see. It's going to be that he was serious about the 30 days. You might say, Sami saying, you know, it'll be within 30 days. You know, I, the, what, what do they have in the, the lawyers? They have a grace period. You know, there's always a grace period. No, there's no grace period. 30 days, 30 days. That's, that, that was the deal. I'm an Ashish Lim assigns us. He says, listen, I'm a wealthy man. Will you marry me on the condition that I have a lot of money? I'm an Ashish Lim assigns us. I raise him with That's only if he has it. He's got witnesses that he has the money. If you don't have witnesses, we're not so sure. We'll see. I'm an Ashish Lim assigns us. On the condition I'm going to show you my money, I'm going to show you 200 zoos. I'm going to show you the money. I raise him a kadesh just here, but you got to show it to her. Again, it's conditional. In parallel, Shulchan Kadesh's, let's say he works at the bank. And he says, you know, uh, I'm marrying the condition that I have $10,000. She says, okay, let's let's see the money. He says, come to the bank. And he, he shows her at the bank, you know, he opens up the not safe. His not his money. Yeah, exactly. It's not his money. That's not good, right? So that's what it means if you show on the shulchan, he's a money changer. You know, he's got a job there. In Rala Shulchan, that's not a kedushin. It's got to be, he's got to show, he meant to say his money, even though he, I'm going to show you money. Show you money means, no, yeah, it's just showing you money. Doesn't mean anything. He's got to show him his money. It's not. So here we have Machlokas. Okay, that's the condition. When he gives the money, she's married from now. Why? As we'll see, call Omer Almanas. He says, Almanas is going is. It was that's Rebbe's opinion. Come around, manas. Come around, achshav dami. So she's married from right now. You don't amar likshayita. No, when she gets the money, she's married from then, not now. But who amar? But he we then tanav. It's a condition. Mekayim tanav. But also fulfilled the condition. But the deal was from then. He said al manas. Manas is from now. You don't amar likshayita. The chiyav on the kedusha. When he gives her the money, then she's married from then. Hashem be alav kedusha. Let's say she was mazan with somebody else in between. According to Rabuna, that would be Znus. According to Rabuna, it wouldn't. I be not even now. He says, We're Shem Bashiyar, we give a Kedush A nice, simple case. Let's say she accepted Kedush from somebody else in between. Right? Is it a Kedush or not? Lura Funa, the second guy's Kedush is not a Kedush because he said, on the Marry me today on the condition that I'm going to give you the two and When he gives the two and even six months later, and she's married from today. So the second Kedush, the second guy's Kedush will be a Kedush. Rabuna, I have a Kedush. According to Yehuda, the second guy's condition would be a good condition because the first guy's was not was not did not was not effective until he actually gave her the money. That's right. That's right. And uh, that's right. It's not a condition. According to Yehuda, it's not. According to Yehuda, it's not a problem because she's not married until she gets the money. According to Yehuda, it's a problem. She shouldn't marry anybody else because you know she shouldn't sleep with anybody else because maybe it'll be from now. The same achlokus we have by Gittin. What's that? You know, well, I'll divorce you on the condition that you pay me. Unfortunately, we see cases like that, that you give me $200. He's got to give the money again. So, Idmar, is that is that from now or from later on? When Idmar Rafuna says, when she gives the money, it's from the earlier point. If you know Malik Shetita, and only when she actually gives the money, owns only then Chal. Rafuna, I'm a Tanav, again, it's a condition. Kam Tanav also, she fulfilled the condition, and it goes from the time that he gave her the get. Rav Yudam, Malik Shetita, no, the Chiyav, the Hudav, again, it's only a get from the time that she gives him the money. Hashtam, you have to go right now, it's not a get. My Binai, what's the difference when the get was Chal? Be very simple. Yikim Binai, Shinaskar, I get, Oshavit. Let's say the get was lost in between. Because of God, Lurav, who have a get. Why? Because he gave her the get from now. It gets done, right? She's married, she's divorced now on the condition that she gives him the money. When she gives him the money, even a year later, the, the get was chal from back then. You don't need the get here anymore. Or of Yudal, the get. According to Yudal, it's only a get at that point when she gives him the money. At that point, there's no get. So but, so why do you have to come in the case both of Gitten and Kedushin? Sreeha, Diyash, Mina, Gabi, Kedushin, 
Gabi Kedushin. But how come Rafuna Mishim the Krav Lakasi? There, Rafuna says it's half right now. Wants to marry her. He loves her. He says on the condition I don't have any money now, but I'm going to get you some money. On the condition I give you the money, he wants to marry her. where he's getting rid of her. People don't want to really get divorced. Maybe they'll make up in between. So maybe Rafuna will be motivated to Rav Yehuda that she's only divorced when when she actually forks over the money later on. Maybe he'll be motivated there. Kamash one that he's not motivated. Beat if you tell me the case of what of getting. You know why? You know why Rafuna says in the case of divorce, she's divorced from right now? Because on the case you're going to give me the money, he'll get the money later on. He's not embarrassed to ask for the money. He's divorced her. But in the case of what, where he says, I'm marrying you on the condition that I'm going to give you to her house, maybe she'll be embarrassed to ask for the money. Maybe his mother's tribute. Listen, if he pays the money, she's married. If he doesn't pay the money, you know, if he doesn't pay the money, she's only married then later on. If she doesn't, if she doesn't pay the money till later on, she's not married from right now. Maybe be motor to review. It's really if you need both cases. May say, I raise a get the Hamanasha titli masayim zos. Again, here's your get on the condition that you're going to give me two hundred dollars. Afo pichin eskara get, even though the get was torn, Osha of it is lost. I raise him a gureshes. She's divorced. What does that show you? That it's how right now, right? If it, even again, I'm, I'm marrying the condition you're going to give me two hundred dollars. Even though at the time that the two hundred dollars she he, he gets from her later on, there's no get left. She's still divorced. That shows that it's chal from right now, like Rav Huna. Obviously, though, even though it's chal Freya, that she shouldn't marry anybody else until she gives the money, because if she never gives over the money, the gets never the, the get never worked. And she and Aishas Ish. But Tanya, we learn this follows. Listen to this. Amar Lav Reizik Yedachem Nasha Tikkun Sons. Here's your get on the condition: you give me two hundred dollars. Umais and he died. No, so if she gave him the money before he died, ain't skukuli up. Obviously, they were divorced. Lo no, 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 no. If she didn't give it before he died, skukuli up. Rabshim Muliel says no. Even after he died, Rabshim Muliel says no. Even after he died, Rabshim Muliel says no. She can give the money to somebody else in his family after death. After death. Now, did he say that? I tell him, he said, on the condition you're going to give me the money, if he's dead, you can't give it to her anyway. You can't give money to a dead person. Umar said, Rafael Yorshai. No, when he said, give the money, I'm divorcing the money, you're going to give me $200. The main thing is that you come into the family, even after that. But the Kuliyama Mia Tanavi, everybody agrees it's a tonight, because even the Tanakami mode, if he said, on the condition, here's your get, on the condition that you give my family $200, even if I'm dead. Well, if he's dead, can't be Chal later. It can't be Chal when he's dead, so it must be Lamafreya. So it clearly shows like Rafuna. That when he said Amanas, Amanas is Ka'achshav Dami, it's Chal from right now. Tifta Rabbiuda is a Kashan Rabbiuda. I'm Lucha Rabbiuda, Amari Rebbe. I agree. That sheet that goes like Rebbe, the Omar Rafuna Marav, call the Omar Amanas, Omar Yashka. We have the sheet often. If you say Amanas, I'm doing this thing, I'm marrying you, I'm divorcing you, what I'm doing on the condition, on the condition means it's Chal from right now. Doing it, it should, it should be effective now on the condition that I fulfill the condition later on. Upligi Rabbonala, the Rabbana disagree. The Rabbanan disagree. I go like I go like the Rabbanan like that you know. Amanas is not ma'achshav dami. Amanas is when you when you fulfill it. It's chal then not before. Gufa. I'm a rabbi. I'm a rabbi. I'm a rabbi. Call Amar Amanas go ma'achshav dami. You say Amanas is if you said from right now. I'm Rab Zera. Kevin and Bavel. When I was in Bavel, remember Rab Zera made Aliyah and begged that he should uh, forget all his uh, learning in Bavel. He came to Eretz Yisrael. When I was in Babel, I used to say, This is what Rabbi said. disagree with him. They say, Almanas is not Kapsha. He was sitting and learning, and he said, Everybody's motive that Almanas. Say, Almanas is not Kapsha. It's like he says, Why? You know, Almanas is difficult, but Mehayom and Macy is very clear, right? Mehayom and Macy is very clear. But everybody's more even Almanas also. The case that we talked about on Amad Aleph that we talked about yesterday, Mehayom is that a get or not? Right? Get there to get there. Chum say it's a suffer. Did you mean today from today? Or did you mean after you died? And after you die, you can't give a get, so it's a suffering to the So, Rabbi Omer, can that get? Even that's a get too, because a person knows that ain't get Lachamisa. They only machlu. So the Rav Yehuda, the Rav Almanas, Nami Pligi. So according to Rav Yehuda, says no. They even argue by Almanas. Rebbe says Almanas me achshav dami, and the Rabbanan disagree. So I don't mitzvah by Almanas Misa. Why are you arguing by Almanas Misa? Mitzvah by Almanas. Even if Almanas is achshav or not, because the answer is like the Rebbe. 
tell me that even Rebbe, that he, Rebbe says, even may hayom or lachamisa is not a suffix. It definitely means may hayom. It doesn't mean lachamisa. That's right because he says, because I get. They may hayom or lachamisa, not may hayom. I get. So why don't you tell me the machlok is by al to tell you that even by al the rabbi say it's not me'ach shadami. The answer is correct that they're out of. Rebbe's more matter. Rebbe says, even if you say me'ayom alachamisa, which you could understand as being a suffix, did you mean me'ayom or did you mean lachamisa? The Chacham say, we're not sure if it's a get or not. Rebbe says, that is a get. He's matter even there. Why? Because he says a person knows that ain't get lachamisa. Amashit nacha bikam hashashim. A person says, in the condition that I'm going to give you uh, within 30 days, I'm going to cough, cough up with the money, marry me on the condition I'm going to marry within 30 days. If he gave the money for 30 days, it's Kedusha. If not, not what's the Chilchef sheet? But he said 30 days, 30 days, 30 days. Now the same, left to know it's not really a condition. When Saruze comes, he just wants to encourage you, I'll give you the money real short. You know, money is in the, the check is in the mail, right? It's coming soon. You might think he's just trying to, you know, to encourage her to marry him. So oh, it'll be within 30 days. He says, I'll give you the money within 10 years. You know, who cares? 10 years. Who knows who will be here in 10 years? 30 days. Maybe he's just encouraging, but it's not serious. Much money serious. I'm an association with Simpsons on the condition that I have money. And it, so he said, if he has the VH loaf, he's Adam that he has the money, fine. Uh, that I'm that he's people that's Adam that he has the money, then she's married. If there's no Adam, then she's not married. But maybe he has the money. Maybe he's got it under the mattress. Maybe he's got it in a safe, safe deposit box. You say, if he shows, if he has, marry me on the condition I have the money. If there's proof that he has the money, she's married. But there's no proof. What are you going to do? She can marry somebody else. Maybe he has money. Maybe he's a miser. He keeps the money hidden somewhere. Or he, he gave it the uh, safekeeping for the shul or something. You know, maybe he gave, gave it as How do you know? Nech Hashem Yeshlo. The old time we learned, Hashem and Shem Yeshlo. You're right. If he, there's Adam that he has the money, then they're definitely married. If there's no Adam, it's a suffix. She has to be concerned. She can't marry somebody else until it's it's resolved. I'm not, or she or he gives her a divorce. I'm not sure how many times. I'm going to show you the money. Not enough to show him that he, he's a teller at the bank who makes five dollars an hour and he shows him ten thousand dollars. It's not his money. He's going to it was to show him that he had he had right. You're not allowed to show him. cheat. Is it obvious? It's not his money. If if he works as a teller at the bank or he's a money changer. And he shows her the money that's on the table. That doesn't mean anything. It's not his money. Let's read it. He's got an interest in it. He, he's got a share. He makes a profit on the on the. the, the he's he's working at a money changer, but he also he has a yeah he's a shulchanim, but he has a financial interest in it. So some of the money's his. Still, it's not his money, and therefore it's not a condition. I'm not actually base core offer on the condition that I have a a base core of offer. Now a core has thirty saw. Core has thirty saw. Right, and the the chutzpah base of English was sasayim was 100 by 50. 50 by 50 is 2,500 square amas. The uh, the base of English is the chutzpah base was was 5,000 because it was 100 by 50 is 5,000. That's saw or sasayim five five 50 by 50 or 100 by 50. It's either 2,500 that would be a base saw base sasayim, but the base of English was 5,000 uh, 5,000. A base core is 30 saw. So it's 2,500 times 30, which would be 75,000 square amas. And that's to show I've got a good piece of land. You know, I'm a farmer. I got at least a lot. I have something to get married with. I can make a living. You know, that's what he's saying. On the condition that I have a base score offer, this is all I have raise some condition. If he has it, if he has it, if he doesn't have it, you're not married. I'm an actually buck employment. Let's say he says, on the condition that I have a net spot in a good spot nearby. If he has it there, it's fine. If not, I'm an actually base score offer. So I'm going to show you <coughs> a big stretch of land that's a base core. I raise some Gudeshis, the arena, he's got to show it to him. He's got to show it to him, but it's got to be, you know, like, do you have the deed? Can I, may I see the deed in your name? In the of Babika, and if he shows him, well, there's a big, do you see that big area there? Somewhere in there, I have some land. That's not his. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean it. He's got to show same thing like the Shulchani, like the case before. What do we need all this for? This is similar to the previous mission with the money. What's the we're talking about money? We're talking about land. So the first question is, says, if you, I'm, I'm going to show you on the condition that I have this piece of land, Mikadesh, if he has the land, there's proof that he has the land. Let's say there's no proof. Maybe he has the land anyway. So again, the Nefer Shemi Yeshlo, maybe he has the land, but if there's no proof. Huh? Maybe she's married. Bo Tanya, Hashin Shemi Yeshlo, it's like Asha, but Kudosh Shabbat, and Kudosh Shabbat, again. If you know he has the land, she's for sure married. If, if you don't know, it's only a suffix. You'd need a get. 
Let me let me say Gabi Avlo Sun by Gabi says, what do you have to tell you? It's basically the same mission by land and by money. So we have the and Gabi Zuzi mission to pay the Yiddish and say, by money, people hide their money. People hide their money. So you say over there, you know, uh, unless you, you know, if you don't see the money, it's a Kedushi Sophie. In other words, you don't know because maybe he's got the money in, in in Hong Kong or he's got the money in a bank somewhere. You don't know. They hide their money. Avalara and by, by land, I might say either Islayara if he has land, call his loop. He must not have the land. In other words, you say over here, you said maybe he has land somewhere, right? And if he has land, for sure she's married. If he doesn't have land, it's a suffolk. Maybe they're married. She would need to get why land people know about, right? Maybe money. You don't know how much cash the guy's got, but if he's land, you might say. He has land, people would know about it. So, <clears throat> if you don't know for sure, it's not even a suffix, says Rashi. Maybe it's not even a suffix. Even if the land we know, like, much more no. Since they're learned by one next to each other, both by the money and by the and by the carcass, tell you the same thing. Remember, the Araki Zuzi, just like over there, if he has the money for sure, they're married for sure. And if Yeshlo, Vade, Eno, it's a suffix, a carcass also. Vade, uh, uh, Vade, and it's also a suffix. That's the point of we were telling you about the case of the money. And the, the mission didn't say the safe suffix. The Bryce expanded on that, but that's the, the juxtaposition of the two Mishnahis to teach you that they have the same halacha, that even by the land, if you know for sure he has land, they're married for sure. If you don't know for sure, it's still a suffix. She then says if he has if you have land in that spot, that's, uh, you know, if it's in that spot, fine. If he has land elsewhere, they're not married. Cheap. Isn't that obvious? He said, if I have land in this spot, Mount Hussein, Omerle, my enough for me, you can tell Omerle, you can tell her, what's the difference? I told you I have the land over here. Let's say we're living in New York. I have it nearby in New Jersey. So what if I have it in Wyoming? I'll schlep it. I'll, I'll produce the stuff and bring it here. My enough for me, I'm not to rich my scene. I'll bring the produce from far, far away. Marshall, you don't say that. You said on the condition that you have the land nearby or in a particular spot, you have to fulfill that condition. I'm not sure how they score up. I'm going to show you basically a ton of on a scam. Again, I'm going to show you the land just like I'm going to show you the money. It's got to be my money. It's got to be my land. Obviously, if he shows him in a big, you know, a big plains where he doesn't own anything over there, that doesn't mean anything. Let's read it. The Nukkut, the Distura. He's a sharecropper in those lands. The same thing like with the money. He, work, he has a financial interest in the money changing operation or in the bank, not good enough. He has to be his. Here, too, if he's only an Oris, that doesn't qualify and they're not married. Uh, and and that, uh, the question still would be you know, maybe he has land somewhere else or maybe he has cash somewhere else, then you probably have a suffix. All right, we'll pick it up here from the last three words on the page tomorrow, Mr. Shem. Have a good day, everybody. Stay, uh, yeah, stay, stay. Yeah. All right.